Hi, my name is Shannon Corrigan, and I'm General Manager of the Jayhawk Experience, where we give Jayhawk fans more access, unique experiences, and quality entertainment. What that means is we operate tours and special events at the Kansas Athletic Facilities, so we hope you'll join us in the future to host your own event, join us on a tour, or host your tailgate for football season. To give you a small taste of what this is like, we're going to give you a glimpse of a Jayhawk Experience tour today. Hi, my name's Al Wallace, and I'm one of the tour guides here at the Jayhawk Experience at the Booth Family Hall of Athletics. One of the first things you'll notice when you enter the Hall of Athletics is this banner, which hung in the Fieldhouse first in 1988. In fact, it hung the last time Mike Krzyzewski brought a Duke basketball team to the Fieldhouse. Duke actually won that game in double overtime, but the foundation was laid when a group of 10 students a few of them art majors, made their way to a dorm on Daisy Hill. You'll notice once again, this banner is made out of shower curtains. Look closely, you'll notice at the top of the curtains, the hooks. The students cut these curtains up, they sewed them together, they made the banner. They got permission from the athletic department to hang that banner for that Duke game. They originally brought it down after the Duke loss, they later put it up, and it hung inside the field house from 1988 to 2010. Later, it was hung here in the lobby. There's a replica now inside the field house that tells everyone, pay heed all who enter, beware of the fall. Easily the most noticeable trophy case here at the Booth Family Hall of Athletics is this one. Five national championships in men's basketball for the University of Kansas. Five, and it all started back in 1922 and 1923. Three of those national championships are NCAA championships. The first one, the one up there in the corner, the Silver Cup is what I call it. 1952, Kansas plays St. John's in Seattle, Washington. The Jayhawks, led by Clyde Lavellet, beat St. John's for the national title. The head coach of that team, Fog Allen himself. Then here in the middle, you see this trophy with the net draped over. 2008, yes, the game where Mario's Miracle catapulted Kansas to its fifth national championship. You'll notice the big ball in the middle. That's a national championship trophy given to the University of Kansas by the National Association of Basketball Coaches. Helped started by Fog Allen himself back in the 1940s. The National Association of Basketball Coaches headquarters in Kansas City, Missouri, less than 40 miles from the campus here in Lawrence. Finally, here on the end, who can forget yet? 1988, Danny and the Miracles. You remember the banner we showed you in the Hall of Athletics earlier? Well, that very next month after that banner was hung, Danny and the Miracles, led by Danny Manning and head coach Larry Brown, won KU's fourth national championship in men's basketball. In fact, that title, earned at Kemper Arena in Kansas City, less than 40 miles away from the campus here in Lawrence. You've looked at three national championships. How about the other two? 1922 and 1923. Helms championships earned at the helm, Fog Allen himself. Kansas winning its first two national championships. Winning a national championship is huge. Also big, winning a conference championship and the Kansas Jayhawks have done plenty of that. Here's proof. In this part of our Hall of Athletics, a ring collection. These rings belong to Max Falkenstein, a KU grad who from 1947 to 2006 was behind the microphone, television and radio as the voice of the Kansas Jayhawks. This ring collection donated to the Hall of Athletics by the family of Max Falkenstein. Max passed away in 2019, and his family, shortly after his death, donated this ring collection to the Hall of Athletics and the University of Kansas. Finally, we find ourselves here on the walkway that connects Allen Fieldhouse and the Booth Family Hall of Athletics to the DeBruce Center. On one wall, all the testimonials from all the players, all the coaches, all the memories, all the history, all the years, all the basketball that have helped make Kansas the premier college basketball program in the country. All of this dedication, 
here in Lawrence, Kansas, started by the doctor himself, Dr. James Naismith, who typed up those original rules of basketball back in 1891. Then eight years later, he brought it all here to Lawrence, Kansas to be the first basketball coach of the Jayhawks. Eight coaches total, eight coaches in more than 120 years. All that history, all those memories, wrapped up into one distinct location. The centerpiece, those original rules. The original rules, one big reason why this is the destination for college basketball in the United States. Allen Fieldhouse, the DeBruce Center, and all that history wrapped up into those two pieces of paper typed up back in 1891 by James Naismith. Tomorrow night, 15,000 cheering fans will pack Madison Square Garden in New York City to witness a giant basketball doubleheader. In that cheering crowd, sitting in row C, seat 11, will be a modest 77 year old man. Those fans won't know that he made possible the game they're watching. But you're going to meet him now. Thank you, Coffee, you've brought him here tonight all the way from Lawrence, Kansas. Dr. James A. Naismith, the inventor of basketball. Dr. Naismith, how did you happen to invent basketball? Well, Mr. Heater, it was in the winter of 1891 when I was physical instructor at Springfield College in Massachusetts. We had a real New England blizzard. For days, the students couldn't go outdoors, so they began roughhousing in the halls. We tried everything to keep them quiet. We tried playing a modified form of football in the gymnasium, but they got bored with that. Something had to be done. 